Welcome to Helix Video Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to set up OAuth 2 client in NarvaSeso Admin Console for REST API. The steps to set up the OAuth 2 client and test it in Postman are logging in to Remedy SSO Administration Console to configure a new client in OAuth section, set up a REST API call in Postman using the OAuth token, test a Remedy REST API call. So let's go. All right. Now we have our browser and we need to type our Remedy SSO URL, our Remedy SSO admin console. And once I have the prompt login page, I type my Remedy SSO admin credentials. And once I am in, I need to navigate to the OAuth 2 section in which I have already configured my access token timeout, refresh token timeout, and set my RSSO server URL in the OpenID issue URL. Then I have pre-created a client. We need to register a client to create a new one. In this case, I'm going to hit edit to the existing one. and here we have the client ID. This client ID is an ID that RSSO gives automatically once I save the client ID and I enter all my settings. Therefore, I don't need to worry about it right now. What I need to do is type a client name mandatorily. I hit enable checkbox to enable the client. Then we have the list of redirect URIs. In this case, I need to add a URL, which is the AR system REST API Jetty login URL. I have added it. And then we have our certificate section. This certificate section is received at the same time the client ID, which is at the moment of saving the client. Before that, it's not possible to have that. Lastly, we have the OpenID scope used for OpenID Connect. I checked it. Also, for, this is for end user authentication. And once I have my client set, I generate a JWBK ID. And once it's active, then we need to go to our Postman application. In this case, I pre-created a REST API uh, sample call for the Remedy REST API in which I'm using the endpoint for the user form. We're going to test that. In order to get the users from user form, I need to use the token that I need to get from OAuth 2. And the way to request it here is we need to select OAuth 2 section in the OAuth data to request headers and we need to hit get new access token. Here you can see in the callback URL, which is the same that I, I use in the RSSO admin console, which is the Jetty login. I set it up here. In the authorization URL, I'm using the RSSO URL, RSSO server URL, admin console, but using the OAuth 2 slash authorize endpoint. In the access token URL, I'm using the same RSSO admin console, but with the OAuth 2 token endpoint. Those endpoints are specific to the RSSO application. Now, I type my client ID, make sure that the client ID and the client secret are the ones that I have in my RSSO admin console. We go to client and it's the same client. Therefore, I'm using the same client secret. Now, in the client authentication, I select send client credentials in body and hit request token. So what it does, Postman opens a pop-up window in which uh, request RSSO the token. As you can see right now, the way I am authenticating the users is via SAML. I'm using an ADFS. Therefore, 
I'm authenticating my user against an Active Directory. I type my credentials and then at this point I am authenticated as Alan. You can see quickly on the session I am authenticated as Alan. Now if we go back to our Postman pop-up window, I accept to confirm the authorization to Postman to access to this. So at this time, Postman gets the token from RSSO. In this case, you can see the tokens that are just created right now, which is the access token and the refresh token. Now, I'm gonna use hit here, use token, and hit send. Okay, here I got the response back for all the users that are listed here. So this is a sample of how this works. Thank you.